Hey y'all, what's going on? It's uh, Eddie Toby coming at y'all with a video real quick. I know I've been away, but it's for a good reason. And uh, many of you will see that later. But anyway, down to business. Uh, real quick thing I want to say, and it's this, especially to the ministers, is to rightfully divide the word of God in truth. And as a believer in general, learn how to meditate on God's word. David says in the book of Psalms that he hides the word of God in his heart and he meditates on it day and night, which means that he thinks about it. He ponders it. He sees what the spirit of God is putting in his spirit concerning his own word. And so what I'm seeing is a lot of activity going on where people are just tagging people and people are writing all these different blogs and posts and whatnot. And I'm reading it. And I'm like, wow, really? So no, no, no offense to, to no one, but. I feel, I believe as a saint, it's very important to study God's word and I truly understand what it means because the uh, thing is, you could be too religious or whatnot and end up enslaving more people instead of allowing people to be free through God's own power and through the working of the Holy Spirit. Notice I said the working of God's power and the Holy Spirit, not on yours, not on yours, because we don't have the power to save ourselves. Only God does. And so it's very imperative that as a messenger, you just drop off the mail to the receiver or whatnot. And whatever's in that mail, that person, they're going to they're gonna know what's it pertaining to or whatnot. But we as a messenger, hey, we just deliver the message. And so to do that in the right way, spend time on God's word. And I use this as an example because there's a time where I was just sharing a lot of things and whatnot to people personally. And... It wasn't until I got around some, uh, I would say, more mature saints, more mature than I am. And they told me, hey, Eddie, you don't have to always share what God uh, tells you. And so by practicing that, now I can discern when it's time for me to share things and when it's time for me to be quiet and just observe what's going on. And so I just want to leave you all with that tip, man. It just, you know, work on your own salvation and when you're going to put out a word, it's, it's very, very important. It's like a, a one shot only type deal sometimes. Amen. And you got to know what you're talking about when it comes to God's word, because God's going to hold you accountable, man or woman or whoever you may be ministering to a lot. So God's going to hold you accountable. Like the book of Ezekiel says that um, when when he spoke to Ezekiel about the blood being on, on people's hands or whatnot. And so it's very imperative, man, very imperative that we as a body must know what we're talking about because there's souls that are that's, that's at stake and it's even our own life that's at stake and God's going to hold us accountable because we should know better. Amen. And so overall, man, just take your time and learn to hear from the spirit of God because he's going to prompt you on when it's time to speak and he's going to prompt you on it's time to be quiet and just look. Ecclesiastes 3 said, says that there's a time and a season for everything. And there's a time to speak and there's a time to be quiet. And so I just encourage you, man, to rightfully divide the word of God and truth, like it says in the New Testament, and to meditate on it. Amen. God bless.